climate change. So there's a lot of talk about the climate changes is caused by human, and we are encouraged to recycle, to to change to rene- renewable energy, and all these things. And of course, there are also a group of people that are anti climate change, and then they do not believe in climate change. They do, and they think that global warming and all this are conspiracy. For me, I think climate change is real. The problem is the cost. I'm not exactly convinced that it's entirely a human cause. I think that hum- climate change is actually rather natural. So to prove my point, I want to introduce you to this: the African humid period. So the African humid period is actually a period of time starting from.、Um, They estimated around fourteen thousand five hundred years ago, where suddenly northern Africa、uh, it got a lot wetter, and this entire period ended five six thousand years ago. So during this period, the Sahara Desert is actually filled with blood, flora and fauna of Sahara. During the African humid period, lakes, rivers, wetlands, vegetation, including grass, trees, covered the Sahara and the Sahel. Creating a green Sahara, a land cover that has no modern analog.、Uh, evidence includes pollen data, archaeology, chicle sites, evidences of fauna activities such as diatom, mammals, ostracod, reptiles, snails, buried river valleys, organic rich mats, mudstone, evaporites, and so on and so forth. So, so imagine you are the Egyptians or you are the Your your Africans that during those days, maybe six thousand years ago, just as this humid period is ending, and you may actually think that it's your fault, it might be your civilization's fault. Maybe you guys built a pyramid in the wrong place.、Uh, maybe you forgot to pray to a certain god, or maybe there is a cult, a terrorist group that decided to worship Seth, and Seth brought war to the Egyptian gods and destroy. The pantheon and cause the drying up of the Sahara. Who knows? So, for an ancient person、uh, during those those days,、uh, you can imagine that they will be perplexed to try to explain why the rain stop, why things start to dry up. They will be coming up various reasons to explain it away, and as humans always do, we tend to blame ourselves. So. That's probably what the ancients, Egyptians, and the North,、uh, the Africans would be thinking during those days. And today we are going through the same thing.、Uh, we are going through global warming. The sea level is slowly rising. The ice cap is melting. So yes, it is alarming. As I say, climate change is real. But the problem is actually about the cause. If we keep thinking that it is human cause. Then we are actually bucking up the wrong tree. We might be dealing with a problem that does not exactly cause the issue, and I feel that it is important for us to deal with the consequence, the effect of climate change, rather than to debate religious-like kind of like philosophical kind of reasoning that oh because we did this so you know climate change happened. And then, so we must recycle, and we must use less carbon, so that the climate change will stop. It's impossible because if imagine during this six thousand years ago in North Af- North Africa, there's nothing you can do to stop this. Literally nothing. So the the kind of climate change that they experience is really something that the ancients will not be able to explain. They can only attribute it to God, and today we are attribu- attributing it to human cause, to industrialization, to carbon re- emissions. I'm not saying these are not important. I think we should still try to、um, invest in green technology to you know improve our energy consumption because ultimately oil is going to run out one day. Just that it's not as fast as the、uh, scientists try to make it out to be. By now, there should be no more oil, but somehow oil is really cheap,、um, especially last year. So let's not get over alarmed.、Uh, I think 
is more important to deal with the effect of climate change. So let me bring you even further back. During the Cretaceous period, Cretaceous period is actually the, where the dinosaurs are. So during the dinosaurs, there's three main uh, era. Cretaceous is actually the last. The middle one is actually uh, Jurassic. The first one is Triassic. So in the Cretaceous, the climate during those day on Earth is actually very hot and humid. The entire world is hot and humid. There is no ice cap. There is no frozen land. It's all tropical throughout the entire Earth. Can you imagine that? There's no snow. There's no ice. That is the Cretaceous period. And that's the kind of world that the dinosaurs were living in. High oxygen, high humidity, high heat. And then contrast it with uh, the Ice Age that was ended like 10,000 years ago. And then you can find a contrast where half the globe is actually in ice. The Earth always has this change in climate. It's actually a wave. It get hot and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold. Uh, humans are actually living in one of the more stable period of climate on Earth, but there is no guarantee this is going to stay on forever. Change is coming. It's already here. If the sea is supposed to rise, then it is time now to invest um, in technology that will make sure that we can survive this rising tide. And if, like the countries like Maldives, they are already having uh, contingency plans. Or they can actually do more, like maybe floating up the entire country, because why not? So there's a lot of things that we can do. I think it is not possible to stop climate change, so it is important for us to stop this worthless uh, conversation and debate, whether is it human cost or not human cost. Because either way, you're not going to stop climate change and it's important to be prepared and not be caught in, in the situation where the human civilization has not enough food and water. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time.